Hi everyone, my name is Dante Alvarado Leon. Hi, I'm Diksha Chaturvedi. And we build a checkers game in Python 3. Alright, so to begin the game, you're going to open your terminal and type in the name of the file in Python 3 to run it. So this opens the screen. Uh, as you can see on the terminal, you can see a layout of the board um, as it was actually portrayed on our graphic user interface with blue B standing for blue checkers and red starting for the position of the red checkers. In our game, the red player always goes first, so you would grab a friend and play on one computer. And then um, to actually move, um, you want to say you want to move the first checker on the left, um, and I'm the red player. You would click that checker and then click the square you want it to move to. And then you'll see that it's now blue's turn. Also, as soon as you click that checker, that is the only checker you will be able to move, and you will not be able to um, move a different checker. Right, so we will continue playing, and then I will click this one and move here. So if there is a jump available, you um, are almost the game makes you take it, and it will automatically jump the checker that is diagonal to you. And for a uh, hand... For a quick explanation of our rules, you can find it in the README. We have a link to the official rules of checkers that we use to build this game. All right, so now we've played the game for a little bit, and we're at a position where one piece, the blue piece, has made it all the way across the board into the, um, into the red side of the board, and specifically the very last row. So um, as you can see, our game has highlighted this piece, and it has a yellow ring around it, and that um, helps differentiate it from the other pieces because it's actually treated as a king now. Sure, so now that we reach the red territory down here, we're <coughs> able to move backwards and actually work our way towards uh, eating other uh, red checkers. Um, so I'll show you an example of this. So right here, I'm going to eat this red checker. Um, and now as a king, I'll be able to move uh, backwards either left or right and jump checkers if there's an empty space over here. Right, so normally our checkers could only move forward. So now that we have one king, we're going to fast forward once again and show you guys how to win. All right. So at this stage of the game, um, we have blue as the winner. And that's because there's only one red piece left on the board, and that red piece has no other moves left. Um, this could also happen if all the red pieces were gone or even earlier if um, there were no moves left. And we hope that you enjoy playing our game. Thank you.